for a date night and then at the end of the video I'll show you the outfit that I put together and everything finished so I hope you guys enjoy this look um, I also hope that you guys really enjoyed the last video we did with a group of our friends um, we me and Zoe did well her boyfriend and my husband's makeup so it was definitely a lot of fun um, I know they said they wanted to do more so maybe we'll come up with something else to do for you guys next month but we both really did enjoy it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well please don't forget to hit that like button down below and also don't forget to subscribe I'm also gonna be using my artiste brushes in this video so I'm going to do, um, some of this will be a voiceover and some is going to be a talk through, but I'm going to do like kind of a review as I'm using these. Um, I got them for Christmas and I've got six, eight brushes um, and I really like them so far. They're very dense. Um, this brush is definitely my favorite, probably out of all of them. Um, I think it is one of the most priciest, pricier brushes because it is the one of the largest. Um, there's one that's bigger than this. But it's just very easy to use on your foundation. But I'm going to be doing a little review on these brushes today as well. I'm going to be taking my Circle 1R brush. And I'm going to be using the Morphe palette today. And I'm going to be taking this light brown shade right here. And just applying that into my crease area. And it does not take very much product at all. And you just want to use it in a swiping motion. These brushes are really great at blending, um, especially with like uh, your foundation, your bronzer, they're wonderful for. I really do like these. Um, they are kind of, they're very pricey. So if they're not something you're wanting to invest in, but maybe you want to try one of them, I would definitely say to try the Circle 8 brush, just because I do really think it's the best. brushes. I'm going to be using the Royal and Lincoln lid brush. I'm going to be spritzing this with some Fix Plus just to really make this eye color stand out and pop on my lid. And I don't know if you can see but how well that really just blended those colors together. I really like those brushes and I actually, I didn't know how I was going to like them for my eyes but I really really do. Um, they're kind of hard to do like directly onto the lid but I like them for my crease really well well and you can see I did all of that. My upper crease, in my crease area, my outer corner with one brush so that to me is amazing. They are very expensive but you get like four brushes or even more in one. So that there kind of helps I think even out that price. Um, as well and you can just they have they come with that little cleansing pad where you just wipe it right off and go on to the next color so that to me is great in itself these brushes are so easy to use they're so great for blending um, so I really do like them for that and I'm really just going to pack on
super super white in the video but it doesn't look like that in my mirror so I don't know if it's just the light is directly on that this direction but it is amazing my skin looks so flawless and airbrushed and just beautiful I am very very impressed with these brushes um, they're definitely to me they're worth the price I did wait a while to get them because of the price and I couldn't talk myself into it so I totally understand but they are just they're amazing and I wish I had bought them two years ago whenever I wanted them the first time. But I don't like using them really to set with a powder. I feel like they're just a little bit too much and I have really bad creasing under my eyes. Um, so I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. Uh, brush to set my concealer. Then next I'm going in with my blush. And today I'm using my Laura Geller in Cantaloupe. And that's my husband making fun of me. I do actually like that. It blends that really, really well for that being a cream. And it's just very light, but it's very, very noticeable and pretty. I'm in with a cream highlight, and then I'm going to put a uh, powder highlight on top of it. And I'm going to be using the Shimmer Skin Perfector Poured um, in Pearl by Becca Cosmetics. I do like the way that applies it just it applies it it seems like with which it blends everything in very well so it does kind of tone down this highlighter so if you don't want to do that I definitely would not use these brushes but I like how easy and softly it applies it and paint a pop and I'm going to be applying this to the same areas over that one and for this one I am going to be using a different brush because I do want this highlighter to really be popped and very intense And we are done with the face. So now I'm going to go back in and finish up the eyes. I'm going to be using the same Morphe palette as before. Received these. They were at two different pairs. They were $8.99 a piece. Um, and I do have a link down below if you would like to purchase some of these. Um, these are the Lily Lashes. I've heard a lot of great things about these. Um, now I am affiliated through that link. If you want to use that link, that's fine. I would not support something that I do not like. Um, so I'm going to be showing you these lashes and then doing a little mini review after I apply them to let you guys know what I think. Um, but if you want to purchase them, if I do like them, you want to purchase them, you can use that link if you want to help support my channel and the things I do on here. If you don't want to, that's fine. You can still just go through the website and purchase them that way. But I know some people don't like the whole affiliation thing, so I do want to let you guys know that I am affiliated to that link. Um, I did purchase these lashes on my own though, so I would not support anything that I wouldn't buy myself. But I'm going to apply them off camera because I cannot apply lashes. The Saint Topaz in the Paris ones. Um, the Paris are definitely pretty glamorous. Uh, I'm not going to be using them today. The Saint Topaz are actually a corner lash. And since I don't have time to trim them, I'm going to be using those. But these are the Paris lashes. They are um, very long. So they're very glamour to me. They're not much of a natural. So I'm going to be also using the Smashbox Foolish full exposure um, 
mascara and we'll be applying that first. I really like that lash. I really like the corner, so it's more, it's very wispy, but it's a little bit more natural. Um, but yeah, these were very easy to apply. I didn't have to trim them because they were corner lashes, so these I'm really impressed with. They're very lightweight. I can't even feel it on my eye right now. <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to give another quick little update on these lashes. Um, I really, really like them. I'm really, <laughs> my husband's making fun of me in the background, but anyway. If you would like to make fun of him, check out my latest video um, where I do his makeup. But I wanted to give another little update just because I um, want to let you guys know that I really do like these lashes. Um, this is my first time ever wearing them and I cannot feel them on my eyes whatsoever. And I really like them for just that little bit of extra um, like fullness on the ends and that little wing so I'm really impressed with these um, side just end lashes and I really do like them the band is very thin I can't feel them on my eyes sometimes when I wear lashes I'm just like oh I'm gonna get these off they're driving me nuts with me and I'm not can't feel them please hit that like button down below and also be sure and check out some of my other videos if you enjoyed this one and please don't forget to subscribe if you like this one and want to see more to come see you next time